let's take a look at editing our art in Lightroom. So my personal workflow is to usually start in Lightroom, do some color correcting and some exposure adjustment, and then move that over into Photoshop for any more creative work and other things that I might want to do to my piece of art. So I like starting in Lightroom as a workflow because I can see all the pieces of art that I want to edit and maybe look at in the film strip below my piece of art rather than trying to open each piece in Photoshop separately. And my goal is not to completely change the art so that it's something different than what I started with. My goal is usually to enhance the art, color correct it if for some reason I've got a weird white balance, and to sharpen, maybe rotate. So this I could right click and rotate and then rotate it again and then I could think oh no it actually looked better where it was so let's just rotate that back so I could kind of look at different orientations so before I did anything else I would start with the little band-aid here in Lightroom and I would adjust the size of what I'm working on with right here and I would feather it. I want whatever I'm doing to be a soft edge, not a really hard edge. So I might feather it a little bit. Or if you're just correcting a spot that needs to go away, you might put the feather at zero, but the opacity at 100. So it kind of depends on um, if you went a little bit larger and you're wanting to completely make something disappear, just test those settings to see, you know, what's going to work better for you. So let's just see if I did this little spot right here let's just spot heal it off that's what that band-aid is it's a spot healing tool oh and see look at that that's really nice now if I did that and I had some really hard edges then I would be considering adjusting that and change it some but if I zoom in really good and move that a little bit you can't even tell where I just spot adjusted that spot so I might just kind of look around and think is there anything here that's detracting from the overall piece that needs to be fixed or corrected or changed and then once you're happy with any of the correction and fixes that you want to do then go through and start to edit for color and sharpness and sometimes I will just hit the auto button just to see what Lightroom thinks is correct exposure and contrast for my for my piece of art and if I reset that and hit the auto again you can see the changes were very very slight which is good because that means I got a really good scan a nice quality scan of that piece of art and it doesn't require a lot of changes but if I were doing it manually myself then you're just kind of going by the seat of your pants and what you visually think is going to look good do you want some extra exposure do you want a little bit of contrast are the highlights bright enough or do they need to be toned down? Do your shadows look good? Like, do you need the darker? Do you need them brighter? Do you just need to tweak them? Whites, are the whites too white? Are they not white enough? So do we need to tweak that? It's all visually. And I, if I did this for a piece of art, I'd have the piece of art sitting beside me thinking, okay, what's the best setting? If I move this, if I move that. Um, also, when you photograph and scan things in, that tends to desaturate it or make it like almost like a little bit dull. So I might pump up the vibrance, but I wouldn't usually pump up the saturation. The vibrance, let's just pump that up. The vibrance pumps up all the colors in there and kind of makes all of them more saturated. But the saturation pumps up oranges and reds and really throws those like crazy if you go all the way up so i don't like yellow oranges and reds being super saturated i almost want them less saturated but i want the other colors around them to be more saturated so i would definitely turn that up a hair maybe up to 20 perhaps but maybe not much further than that the only other thing that I'm looking at in Lightroom for a piece of art is adding some sharpening in and I don't want to sharp it so far that I make it look hyper realistic. I don't want it to look weird when I print it out like whoa that's almost too sharp and you can really tell that something's wrong. Maybe you don't know what but it looks odd. That's not the goal. The goal is to make it look real when I print it. So I'm gonna have this little um, 
preview window zoomed in on something that's in focus on my piece of art so if that's not in focus you can pick the little box here and you can pick a different spot and say oh yes I like that spot and then you can view something in focus to judge how much is too much and when you go way way up you got to be real careful too because then you add weird chromic aberrations and artifacts and strange stuff in there when you over sharpen and you add a lot of grain and you just add a lot of stuff that you didn't intend that's not the goal the goal is to sharpen a little bit and then we can even mask off that sharpening so that we're not sharpening every pixel in that piece of art maybe we're sharpening all the lifted edges so if i hold down my option key which is a which is your alt key on a PC, I can now mask that up to what I feel like the edges that need to be sharpened. And everything white is what's being sharpened and everything black is what's not being sharpened. So if you just hit the details, push that mask up to where you have all the details that you think, okay, that looks good. Then you can just click on that and leave it there. The only other thing that I might talk about here with Lightroom for my art is sometimes I use the transform panel because maybe your camera wasn't as straight as you thought. Maybe it was slightly crooked or maybe you handheld it and you didn't get it straight. This thing is pretty cool. You can hit the auto button and it will correct those distortions and sometimes auto works great like we just auto did that and that looks fantastic but if for some reason it autos it and throws the piece of paper basically off that page on certain spots because sometimes it doesn't work <laughs> then you can transform yourself and fix some distortion that maybe you're seeing you can do those yourself and rotate it um, and then we can turn that off if we don't like any of those settings um, so it's just kind of something to play with you can kind of click on that and put it back to zero if you're thinking um, what you did didn't really work like you thought we could set those back to zero and another thing that you might consider doing up top is uh, cropping your piece if you have white bits hanging out somewhere that you didn't get cropped in camera um, we can crop that and we can rotate these a little bit if for some reason the rotation is off and you need that to be a little different. Those are the main things that I tweak in Lightroom. I fix any spots with the Band-Aid. I go through and fix color and saturation and exposure with my develop panel. I'll come down and do a little bit of sharpening. Don't overdo it. And then sometimes I'll transform it if it looks distorted. So that's what I'm gonna do on most of the piece of art. It's not my goal to manipulate it to the point it doesn't look like the original piece. My goal at this point is to get true representations of the piece of art printed out in the best possible colors that it could be closest to the original piece. So that's what I would change and tweak to get that.